This video continues unpacking the sustainability values diagnostic. Uh, it helps you navigate conflict and influence others. Uh, last time we talked about what to sustain, and this time I wanna focus on an even more difficult subject is why sustain, or who's gonna benefit, who's gonna get the benefits of what's sustained. Um, I wanna uh, pause and, and go over a philosophical question about uh, why. Why do, why do we want to care about future generations? And this is a really difficult question to answer, but you should have some answers for it. So pause for a minute and give some thoughts to what, what, how you would answer this question. Then come back and I'm going to give you my answers. This is what I've heard from others, uh, and it, it makes a lot of sense that one reason you want to sustain things is for your own children, for to pass forward your genes, uh, to uh, care for your, your great-grandchildren. And this is a great reason, uh, but it doesn't help uh, tackle global issues because your children aren't global. So uh, it may not even help regional issues or national issues. And so it'll help maybe your community, your tribe, the people that will help your children thrive, but, but not many others. So we need, need other reasons. Um, another reason I hear is that uh, our ancestors did this for us. They passed forward roads and schools and money and medicine, and those things helped us. Uh, but uh, what do we what, what do we owe the future generation? That's the, the challenge here is the social contract that, that we have, the reason why I care about you and you care about me, the reason why I do things for you and, and, and protect you is because I know that you're gonna do the same for me. That doesn't apply for future generations. Do we, what can they do for us? Well, one thing they can do for us, one reason that we want the future generation to care about us and we should care about them is because they're gonna protect our values, things that we, fought for and sacrificed blood and treasure, uh, maybe freedom, democracy, capitalism, whatever, whatever it is, our heritage that, we're, that we want to be respected. And that's something they can do for us. And so that's a reason to care for the future. Now, maybe a, an easier uh, question to answer um, is, is why not? Um, there's uh, lots of reasons why we shouldn't care for the future. And, and pause for a minute and, and think what your reasons are here and then come back. So what I often hear, and this is a, a good reason, is, is that we already talked about the social contract, is they, they can't do anything for us or do very little for us, so we shouldn't care for them. But another reason why we, we shouldn't care about the future is because we actually don't know what they want. Uh, your great-grandparents had no idea that you wanted iPhones uh, and internet access and electric cars um, couldn't couldn't have fathomed that. So since we don't know what the future needs, uh, we can't really designate it now. Uh, another reason is because they, say they're missing a mastodon or a crane or an eagle. Uh, well, they won't even know it. Uh, this let's say the climate isn't stable and the seas are higher. They they won't know what they're what, what they're missing. Um, and the, the last and most common reason I hear is that they have, they'll have more social capital. They'll be incredibly more wealthy than we will uh, because the economy hopefully will keep growing. Uh, they'll have more medicine, more education, more infrastructure. And so they'll be able to solve any problems that we pass for, just like we solve problems that our ancestors passed to us. So these are some of the reasons to and to not uh, uh, care for the future or, or sustain for the future. Um, now, uh, I need to uh, give you a bit of jargon, a bit of, of terminology, because it's, it's critical that you understand the distinction between inter and intragenerational equity. Intergenerational equity is worried about what we're passing forward to the next generation, whereas intragenerational equity is worried about what the current people alive today, people that are in need today, uh, and people, there's a lot of need, right? There's a lot of people without electric light bulbs and flush toilets. And so well, who should we privilege? Who should we care about? And this is a common tension. And you can see it in the results here, right? And you see it in the results. And again, to remind you, the numbers here represent uh, uh, the percentages of a couple thousand people who have taken the same diagnostic that you have. And if you're over here in the left-hand side of the of the of the first row that if you're have strong or even weak tendencies to, to worry about 
people alive today, uh, you know, you're, you're in good company. Lots of other people are, are worried about those that are in poverty, that don't have flush toilets, uh, and we need to make sure that we're able to meet their needs. And so that's where we should focus our energies. Whereas if you're more over and weak or strong uh, feeling about the people tomorrow, then you, you want to pass forward more stuff to the, to the future. You want to help the future generations. And so there's a huge tension here between who we care about um, who, and who, who gets the benefits of sustainability. Those, if you focus on us, if we focus on the people alive today in our neighborhood, in our community, in our nation, uh, those are the ones that we think deserve uh, the benefits. Then we're going to put the power line, the, the, the forest clear cut that g generates our toilet paper, the, the hazardous waste dump, the highway is going to go somewhere else. It's being, you're not going to put that thing in my backyard, not in my backyard. The locally owned wanted land use, the Lulu, has to go somewhere else. Right? It has to go over to some other community, the other nation. They're going to get the, the toxic waste dump or the, the highway that divides their their. Uh, neighborhood. And this is a, a, another hugely divisive issue. So even within the people that are alive today, who do we care about the most? Uh, is it the people in our neighborhoods, in our communities, in our nation, or others? And you can see here uh, the, 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 the range. Uh, it's not just uh, these issues of future generations and, and current generations, the intra and intergenerational equity. There are other answers to this question about who should we sustain or why we should sustain things. Uh, and, and one is that we, for a supernatural, for, for God, for God's creation, uh, uh, or for ancestors who are uh, spirits in the landscape. Maybe it's us re reincarnated and come back as a, as a tree, as a slug, as a as a deer. Um, and so there are supernatural reasons why uh, we want to sustain things and care for for the environment. Uh, others, another reason is the is the bio rights that there are animals and species that just deserve protection because they're good in and of themselves. They have rights, and this is such a divisive issue that we find uh, I need to go into the full lectures later in the, in the program on both of these topics, uh, because the role of religion uh, is huge in terms of influencing people's values and justifications regarding sustainability and leadership and, and animal rights, by rights, um, and worry about species extinction is, is equally important. You can see how divisive it is here uh, by looking at the polls um, and uh, the responses to, to the question. Uh, there's a lot of differences of, of opinion. Uh, and these, are, these can be uh, the sources of lots of conflict. And so you, I want to spend enough time on it that you can hear and, and, and place yourself in, in the debate. Um, and so that'll, that'll come up uh, later in the program. So just to wrap up this section, uh, we're talking about uh, the reasons uh, why to sustain, and which implicates who's going to benefit from the sustainability. Is it the future, uh, or is it people alive today? And if it's people alive today, are we talking about those that we know and can see in our neighborhood, or in our country, or somewhere else in the world? Uh, and then other reasons uh, are, are supernatural, uh, religious reasons, as well as bio rights. Uh, when you come back, we'll talk about uh, 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 equally divisive issue, which is how to sustain the strategies we use to, to promote sustainable development.